Hey guys, as you all know, I like to keep this channel pretty lighthearted and more towards skits. That's what I love doing and I like to make you guys laugh and have a good time. But while I was in Japan, something crazy happened and I thought it'd be good to share with you guys because it really showed me just how precious life is and I want you all to remember just that, that life is precious and it can be taken from you at any moment in time. I know that sounds dark, but it's a good lesson to learn and it's a lesson that I definitely rekindled with while I was in Japan and while this happened. So I'll just get into the story I and mean, I'll start right from the beginning. So it's New Year's Day and the day before, New Year's Eve, I was telling my parents, my family, basically I was visiting Japan, right? I was staying at my grandparents' place. I'm half Japanese, love Japan, beautiful place, amazing country. Just overall, one of my favorite places in the world. It was just me, my sister, my grandparents. So I had the idea of let's go bowling because we used to always go bowling together and we always had a good time. So it's the next day, it's New Year's Day. In Japan, we always have a really great, awesome, feasting New Year's breakfast. And so we had all these great foods laid out out. Everything was great. We're having a good time. And it was all good vibes. And it was time for my parents to go. So they left. And everything seemed great. After my parents leave, it's time for us to go bowling. The bowling alley that we usually go to is at a mall and it's three floors up. We drive up. I believe we parked like on one of the top floors. Walk over to our bowling lane. And right before we're about to start bowling, that's when I feel it. Everyone's phones start buzzing. The screens on the TV start to go to the announcer announcing something. Everyone rushes to their seats, everyone sits down, and yeah, we're feeling it. I look at my phone, and a 7.6 magnitude earthquake just hit Japan. It's not a quick one, it doesn't just come in like three seconds and go. It lasted a long time. I, I was really surprised. And we're three floors up. It was scary. <laughs> the whole building was shaking, the signs were moving, everything was just scary. And it went on for about, I don't I want to say like a minute or even longer. Earthquakes happen all the time in Japan, but this was a really big one. And the fact that it happened on New Year's was really scary. And I don't know if it's a sign or something, but we're going to live through like great times and get through and make things even better. But I honestly didn't know if I was going to live. It's the first time that happened to me during an earthquake. And I was with my grandparents and I was like, man, I'm the one who decided to go bowling. If this happens, this would really, really, really suck. I contemplated my entire life. And something funny, just to lighten the mood, was that my grandpa was standing, cleaning his bowling ball while the earthquake was happening. And we were just telling him like, Grandpa, sit down, sit down. Like, Gigi, swat this, swat this. I mean, sit down in Japanese. He was just standing there like, oh, what's going on? He didn't even feel it. It's an earthquake you would feel. Like anyone would feel this earthquake, but he was just like chilling. He's lived through so many probably, but strong man. I love him, he's awesome. He finally sat down and he was just like, ah. but yeah, I was sitting there freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, this could be the end. This could Really be the end. Earthquakes are no joke in Japan. No joke anywhere. One tectonic plate shift and the whole city could go haywire. So yeah, that happened on New Year's Day in Japan and it made me really contemplate everything. I was really thinking to myself, if this really happened, if my life ended right now, would I really be happy with everything I did? And I would be. I would be happy that I built this channel, that I have all you guys, that I was able to entertain all you guys. I would be happy with everything I did. But there are still so many more things I want to do and achieve. And I know there's a saying that goes, be happy with what you have. But when you're really faced with your life like that and an earthquake that lasted a whole minute long where signs were shaking and things are going haywire, I'll put up a couple clips right here that show you just how crazy it was in other places that really were affected. And I really do hope and pray that everyone who was really affected by these earthquakes is doing okay and that their families are okay and that they themselves are okay. I don't want to say it on this channel, but I know that a lot of people were severely affected by this earthquake. I just really hope and pray that they're okay and that everything is okay with them and their family. And I'm praying for the best for them because in the areas that were really affected by this earthquake, Buildings flipped over, cars were shaking, bridges were shaking, the waves were going insane. To see that on the news, it was literally like something out of a movie. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It looked like, wow, I had never been more thankful to be alive in my life, seeing that on the news while being on the same island that that happened. We're like two hours away, I believe. And if I'm wrong, then it was in Japan. I'm just very thankful to be able to have this life, to be able to make videos for you guys, to be able to do what I do. But yeah, like I was saying, when you were going through something like that, it really made me think like, what is it I really want to do in this life? And what I really want to do is I want to act. I want to make movies. I want to be in movies. I want to make shows. I want to be in shows. I want to do so many things. And the only one who can make that happen is you. You are the only person who can make your dreams and goals and aspirations happen. It gave me a new sense of drive, motivation, and just inspiration, as heavy as that sounds. I know earthquakes happen all the time, natural disasters happen all the time, but we also really got to take care of this planet and do what we can to help stop global warming, to help stop littering, pollution, all this stuff, because the world is shifting and there's so many things going on that we don't even see. 
I don't mean to get super like heavy and dark here, but that's just the truth, you know? And it just really put a lot of things into perspective for me. This year, I just made a really tough decision to truly wholeheartedly go after my goals and aspirations and make my dreams come true. Yeah. I wanna thank you guys for being here. I wanna thank you guys for being alive. And I want you to leave with this message that as tough as it is to hear, right now we have this life and we're living and we're in this moment. So whatever goals you have, dreams, aspirations, nothing is too big, go after it. Because I truly believe that's the reason we're here. We go after the things that we wanna achieve. There's a quote I heard recently that goes, if you knew you couldn't fail, how big would you dream? And I want you to really think about that. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Subscribe if you want to see what comes next because I'm going to work on a lot this year. And you can already tell from my YouTube shorts that we've been grinding. We hit trending two days in a row. That's awesome. And I want to thank you guys for that too. And to everyone who's been subscribed for a long time, I thank you so much. And I'm tapped right here to watch my next video. And uh, yeah, I love you. Stay awesome. Stay amazing. I love you. Ian Nation, Battalion. Ooh, see you guys soon. Thank you again for being here. I love you so much. Okay, see ya. And stay safe. Okay, see ya.